Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Draconum Blade. And Draconum Blade asks my opinion of the controversy surrounding the Katy Perry song Dark Horse. And for those of you who are not familiar with this controversy, Katy Perry is a former Christian performer who has become a secular performer who seems to enjoy a great deal of shock value in her work, although I personally think her work is quite good. And Dark Horse is one of her more recent songs. She is now being sued by a, a Christian performer who claims that she plagiarized part of his work in creating this song, and one of his claims is that the theoretically pagan imagery in the video has tarnished him by association, and this is part of his lawsuit. And what do I think of this? Well, you know, I think that Katy Perry is probably thrilled to death because you know it triggered a whole new series of sales of this song and its video. And for her, it's probably wonderful, wonderful publicity, as for that matter, is the imagery in the song. The fact that there is metaphysical and pagan imagery in this song and some other things she's done lately does not at all suggest that she herself is pagan or involved in metaphysics. It's possible she is, I don't know, but the fact that she's using it in her videos should not be taken that way. Most likely she's using it for shock value uh, or to be iconoclastic. And I have seen the video in character. It's an interesting video. I personally would not really regard it as having particularly pagan themes. It does have a kind of fantasy metaphysics in it. I don't see anything that I would recognize as having anything to do with my religion, but um, for a Christian performer, apparently it does. I don't, um, I don't really see what it has to do with anything. Certainly legally, it could not be considered to have damaged him in any way, and it's rather insulting that he would make such a claim, but that's really not a surprise. What do I think about those performers who do use pagan and metaphysical imagery for effectively shock value to help sell their work? Well, you know, it's a foot in the door for us. And a lot of people do come to the pagan movement because of this imagery. So for those Christians who are worried about it having that effect, yes, it does. But when they get here, what they find is very different. And in the video Dark Horse, there are some allusions to the goddess Isis and Katy Perry presents herself as a man-eating sorceress who uh, uses magic to destroy individuals in a way that magic does not. Um, totally beside the point, that would not be considered appropriate to do. And does it have anything that a pagan would really consider to be pagan imagery? Well, I don't know that I would say that it does, although it is kind of interesting to see things that vaguely relate to us in the media. I will say that when I was growing up, I love the mummy movies from the 30s and 40s precisely because they contained Egyptian imagery, which was one of the few relatively positive pagan illusions you could find in movies, because not only was the, I guess you'd call him a villain, the mummy, uh, identified with ancient Egypt, but so was the heroine, who was identified in a very positive way with ancient Egypt. I also love the Ten Commandments by Cecil B. DeMille, because even though Pharaoh lost every year, no matter how hard I rooted for him, Egypt was portrayed in a wonderful, beautiful way and in many ways a positive way, at least for the first half of the film. Uh, Pharaoh Seti was portrayed as a very good and moral man, as was Princess Bithia and many other characters. And I'm sure that probably was not the intention uh, of Cecil B. DeMille in making that film, that little pagan children might see it that way, but I did. So I think that having pagan images in the media, even when they're not entirely flattering, is still beneficial to us, if for no other reason, that it's something we can see in the mainstream media. Of course, today there are far more positive pagan illusions in the media than were the case when I was growing up. Uh, but there still were things if you look for them, and I don't think it's a bad thing at all. And Katy Perry's video would arguably fall under that heading, but I think it would be a mistake to read into it anything about her as an individual. And I think this lawsuit is, one, ridiculous, uh, but two, I think that it really should not be understood in religious contexts, but rather in financial contexts. I think that the man who's suing is being very immoral in how he's doing it, because he's doing it purely for effect, and I think that Katy Perry, again, is probably delighted by the publicity. And judging from the actual suit, I don't really see any way she could lose it. 
but I suppose we'll see in coming months. So those would be my thoughts on this particular controversy. I hope you find them interesting. And until next time, may you bless it be. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and did you know that I'm also a psychic reader? For over 30 years, I have been a psychic reader specializing in tarot and clairvoyance, and if you would like a reading with me, you can set one up, either by phone or by email, by contacting me at donlewishp at aol.com. And until next time, may you blessed be.